Millennials love never getting paid. Oh, jeez! Hey there, what is up, my fellow optimists? This is your captain speaking. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, seriously, welcome. I am so, so happy to have you here. Pull up a chair or a hammock and hey, bring a friend next time. And if this is not your first time here, welcome back. I love you so, so much. You are my best friend. Like I ask you, have you ever been working on something for hours and hours and hours and you are finally just about done with it and then all of a sudden, It's gone. The power goes out, or your dog unplugs the computer, or something happens, and all of your hard work is just gone. Today we are going to be playing a game called Deadline Blackout. This game is by Pamisu on Itch.io, and here is what Pamisu has to say about Deadline Blackout. You are a company employee working overtime in the company as usual late at night. Sounds familiar to me. Suddenly your eyes darkened, as if falling into an abyss. It's not saved yet! The sudden darkness frightened you. After confirming that it was only a power failure and not your own sudden death, you breathed a sigh of relief and went to the power distribution room to check the situation. However, before taking a few steps, something under your feet almost made you stumble. By the light outside the window, you found that the top 10 employee of the month, Mike, was dying in a pool of blood. Mike struggled to tell you that there is a killer and you must protect the company's secrets. After explaining to you the context of the work handover and the work plan for the next year, Mike died heroically. You were deeply moved by his professionalism, and you decided to run away immediately. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Sorry, Mike, you're, you're kind of on your own, bud. It looks really interesting. It's an interesting concept, and I think I'm ready to just jump right in. So let's see what this is all about. Let's see what happens when our deadline is looming. Let's jump right in and let's play Deadline Blackout. Start. Almost done. I can finally get off work. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. What the? Damn, these files haven't been saved yet. What a lucky day. Ah, I got a video game controller over here. A little bobblehead. And I've been throwing darts at my boss. Get back to work. Or I've been throwing darts at me? Is that me? Is that my family? In any case. Like, why do I just have a PlayStation up in here? Am I my IT guy? Well, there's a run. That is the world biggest key. I like looking at other people's desks. I like to see what other people do with their lives. Somebody's just got a random baby up on the bulletin board over here. It's a fun little room. I bet they have ping pong tables instead of raises. That's what I bet. This is that kind of office. Stocks down. No, wait, stocks up, profits down? Wait, or that was projected. Y'all are doing great. You're doing great. Your projections are not being met. That's what I understood. I am, I know business. Oh, the lights do work. That's fun. Out we go. Oh. I think I see him. I'm gonna go in here. No? Okay. Well, I just went in the bathroom for no reason then. Sometimes I think it's nice to hide in the bathrooms. Out of order. Alright, well he doesn't seem like too terribly interested in coming to get me, so maybe it's fine. Oh, see? They got beanbags. They got beanbags instead of getting raises. That's how, that's how business companies work. That's how it do be. We appreciate you so much, you get a beanbag. Okay, that's still locked. A little kitchenette. Oh, it was somebody's birthday. Oh, there's a key in the fridge. And a stapler and some jello. That's an office reference. I don't need a little key fob for this door. I feel like I should. Definitely need that. It's got the little key fob thingy. Oh, exit is locked. That's a bummer. Okay, well, I'll just go in here, I guess. This is where we had a party. It is a ping pong table. They were playing beer pong. See, I'm not crazy. This is a millennial office. Millennials love never getting paid. Oh, jeez! No, no. No, you're good. You can just stay over there. You don't run very fast, honestly. We're good. 
Oh, that's locked. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. That's locked. Alright, I'm gonna go here. That's freaking locked. Oh god! <laughs> I'll just I'll just keep moving. It'll be alright. Oh, bananas. That's alright, you're still slow. I have keys! Excuse me! I have keys to all of these! I got caught up on this dude. This guy doesn't seem to have the ability to hurt me. Which is cool and all. Perfectly content to just like, not. Ow! What if I shut you in a room? What if that? Let's go in here. I'm gonna play Ring Around the Rosie. Okay. Buddy. Buddy boy. Look, we're gonna party in here. Like it's 1999. Come here. I'm over here, buddy. Haha! -ha. Sucks to be you. Oh, he got out. That's not okay. You're not supposed to get. You know what, sir? I need you to not keep figuring out how doors work. All right. All right, you stay in there for a minute. I need to. Oh, if you're reading this run, there's killer. Find the files and take them with you if you can. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me just find those files. Those confidential, very important files of yours. Did you put them on the bulletin board? That's where I would put confidential files. Oh, okay. There's a key. I- no, you're fine. Okay, you're fine. Listen. You're okay. I'm gonna just, uh... Let you mellow in there for like two minutes. Alright. Oh, he broke this door. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go in here then. Let's go in here and close two doors behind you. You coming? You coming in? Cool, cool. Hey, buddy! And we'll just do that. Alright, that should buy me quite a bit of time. So look for these files. Which are almost certainly in the director's office. Which I got a key for the server room. Which is somewhere. Is it this one? It is this one. What did I pick up? Confidential files! <laughs> Good. I have the confidential files. How do I use them? Is there a key back there? Here's key. HR department. There we go. That's that's this over here. HR department. And then there. And then I'll just walk past you. Exit! To the exit! La dee da! Oh, that's probably this door in here. I made it! Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was that. And let's just see what, what happens when we die. I think that's probably ending number two, right? Is when you die. He's not a particularly scary guy. Because you can just walk past him. But it's okay. I'm just gonna like speed run to my death here. It'll be fine. I love that for me. Oh! Oh no! He died! Hey, buddy! Everything's blood. Come get it. Come and get it! Ugh! 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 Game over! We found all the keys! We escaped from the dude! Yeah! <laughs> that was Deadline Blackout. <laughs> Check this out for yourself. Let me know what you think. And if you guys have enjoyed this, oh, let me turn off the power of the sun here. If you enjoyed this, any part of this, please let me know. Leave me a like, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> if there's anything else you guys wanna see me play or do or try or whatever, let me know down in the stuff. Especially if you have any short, spooky, scary indie horror games that I can play during the month of Spooktober, please and thank you. And you can also let me know on any of our social media channels. And of course, if you do follow me on any of our social media channels or join the Discord, we can be besties all over the internet. Thank you guys for going on this uh, journey with me. <laughs> and I will be back again very soon with even more short, spooky, scary indie horror games for the month of Spooktober. Please remember that you are so special and important and awesome and talented and funny and loved and you make the world and my life better so please stick around
I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting, and I will see you next time. Bye. That was the trash? All right, cool. How do I take out the trash then? How do I take the trash outside? That is the next thing to do. I have, okay, that's just the kiss.